Hey guys, my name's Ali. You may know me as the Fleek Talks or the Fleek End. Today I'm here with my boy Kelvin. What's up? And me and Worth Mouth are basically making a video on how you guys can prepare for university. In this case, if you're living at London and living at home. Yeah. So I just finished my last year of A levels. I hopefully will be doing politics at the London School of Economics, and I got A star A A A for my A levels. Uh, yeah, I'm going into second year in LSE. I study social policy with government, and I got A A A and B in my A levels. And basically, what we're going to be doing is, I'm, I'll be asking Kelvin because he's a second year student, um, how he found his first year of university. Yeah. So me and you don't make the same mistakes that he potentially did. What is it like living at home? Because so many mm. people want to go to university for the experience, yeah. yeah. Their accommodation is double their tuition fees. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But they still want to live out. Do you think mm. you still get a similar experience living at home? Okay, living out? this is the thing. For me personally, I did not want to live out in uni. I wanted to stay home. Because if you try my mum's chicken and her rice, why are, you, why are you gonna leave that? I don't understand. You wouldn't want to leave that for, you wouldn't leave for the canteen food. You really, really, really want to do that. But okay, that's not the only reason why I decided. I just like to be, you know, have my own room and thing. I'm really comfortable at home. Yeah. It's uh, in terms of finance, you don't have, you have a lot more money to, um, you know, you have a lot more to spare than yeah. those who live out because they have to be paying rent. And then you, you have a lot to fall back on. So if you need money, I mean, mum, dad, they're in yeah. the same house as you. You know, yeah. you just ask you, you could just cook food at home. You'd have to be buying food all the time. But then there are some negatives, don't get me wrong. I mean, the journey that I would have to take every day. 45 minutes now. 45 minutes, that's a good day, bro. That's a blessed day. That's what I'm telling everyone. Telling 45 everyone. minutes is a blessed day, bro. On, when I have a 9 a.m. lecture and everyone's going to work, they all want to go to work where I'm going. Yes, okay. for sure. So, so the, 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 the train's packed up. Yeah. And I tell you, the train's packed up. You really have, you have to humble yourself to go to uni yeah. on the train. It's a humbling experience because when everyone just pushes up on you, it's not it's not fun. Breathing in the neck, sweat patches. You know you can take you can smell their breakfast, oh, but that fried egg and that. But oh, it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. But it's alright. Because as a year thirteen student, well, I've just finished. Loads of my friends haven't applied to a London university. I mean, they've applied Nottingham, Warwick, just for the experience. Um, but like you said, you're gonna have so much more disposable income. Um, so much more to spend, exactly. books, you have a more comfortable life. Wait, one of your boys, one of his guys can even buy a bottle of water. Listen, that's not a joke. This is a that's real not a joke. This is a real struggle, guys. Don't think it's a joke. <laughs> you can live out, but you're not going to be buying water for yourself. 60p. Yeah? I know finance is a big problem when it comes to university, especially yep. if you're living out, but even if you're living at home. Yep. So, how did you exactly manage your money? Well, okay, this is the thing. I was living at home for uni and when I first got my student fi finance loan I really was like well what am I going to do with all this money but you really got a budget uh, what you're going to do like for each week you got to know how much you have and what you can afford to spend in fact I was even telling Ali uh, the other day that I had to get an annual oyster card because the amount, the amount it cost me to travel from my house to go to uni, I would have been using my whole student loan to I'm just get it as well. Yes. Each week, budget the amount you, you have to spend. So for me, I had like a hundred pounds a week to spend. So that way, you know, don't go over the limit. Keep within the range and you'll be just fine. As a student who's going into his first year, there's such a huge hype about, you know, going out, clubbing, going to go partying and how do you manage like your social life? Not necessarily clubbing, but just yeah. going out with <laughs> these readings, with these like time restricted yeah. work. How well, you, you know, I wasn't really a club man. I was at about the clubs, you know, because I'm a Jesus Book person. Man. I'm a Jesus <laughs> man. You know, I'm a Christian, so I wasn't about hitting them clubs. So I had a lot of time to be with family on the weekends. Okay, so you work throughout the week. But that's only when I consistently work throughout the week. Cool. Because when I didn't, it was a bit deep because yeah. I had to just study. The whole. Okay. Um, and in terms of your lectures, because we do know, like, even though I haven't been to university, I know yeah. how crucial lectures are. Yeah. How do you revise the lectures? Like, do you take, write down notes? How does it work out? I, when I was in sixth form, yeah. I always used to love handwriting everything. But when you get into the lectures, you have no time to be writing stuff with your hands. You have For to real. use a laptop or a keyboard or something or an iPad. Because when you're here writing something he said, 
by the time you're done, he's on like topic number six. For real. And he's not going back. You can't be like, sorry, I didn't get that for you. Because <laughs> there's all 300 other people in the lane. Yeah. Jump from A2 to university. Mm. I mean, when you think about university, it's a level four qualification. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. A2 yeah. is a level three qualification. But so many people tell me that university is more chilled than your A-levels. Yeah. Are you one of those people? <laughs> Honestly speaking, okay, the thing is, when you're in sixth form, there's so much pressure on your mind and to study and things like that. There's yeah. so much at stake. Yeah. When you're in first year, that a lot of people's first year don't even count towards their degree. Okay. So in that in that respect, it's a lot more relaxed. You do you don't have to worry. You're not worrying about anything. You know, you don't get panic attacks. Yeah. Wondering what's gonna happen. Second year is is a step up as well. So second year is not really ref uh, re first year doesn't really reflect the difficulty in second year. Second year is a lot. Because they're just easing you in yeah. in third year, they're just, you know, yeah. getting you in, but it'll be alright. Just in it. Also, let me say, because there's some people out there who think, oh, first year is just chilled and relaxed, I can do what I want to do. And listen, people can fail first year, okay? Don't be that guy, please don't be that guy no. to make your parents cry because you were clubbing every night <laughs> on first year. Don't be that guy. MC Kills. MC Kills on the mic. <laughs>